Yowch, damn it, yay. Okay, so, sorry, I'm not the most excited person in the whole world right now. So, here's my problem. It's going to be 100 degrees soon, literally 100 degrees, like 100, 100 degrees. And I'm walking to an urgent care because I have an alcohol problem. When I drink, I drink in excess. Like the words of only use me blade, I haven't been sober now for, I don't know. I don't know when the last time I was sober was. I can only sleep two hours at a time because I'll just start shaking like a crackhead. Uh, it's really bad. And I really don't feel good. I feel like I'm gonna die out here. I'm staying hydrated though. I took some vitamins. So apparently that's gonna help, but you guys are gonna get to see me shake today. And I just like start twitching, which is really weird, you know? So I'll show you guys that later. Oh, there's one redeeming hope though. Uh, there's a thing. There's a thing called uh, transamine or something. I'll show you guys later when I get to the urgent care. But it stops. It stops withdrawal and it stops you shaking. But you know what the weird thing is? The more I shake, or the more sober I get, the more I get dizzy. So that's really weird. Well, there's our relaxing, peaceful little walk. So I was feeling really bad. And I was just sitting here on the street for my journey, trying to get to the, to the hospital. And um, I met this fucking guy, man. And I don't know, he was just like, you gotta go, dude. And he's like, don't be afraid, you're a grown ass man. You don't, you don't be afraid. You don't get to be scared. You're a grown ass man. You tell people straight up. He's right. He's really right. And so when we were talking, I did it. I did it kind of in a scared way. I mean, I just put her on speaker while this guy was talking to me. But I did it. It's done. It's over. It's over now. You know what? It wasn't that bad. All right, I gotta calm down before the, before she shows up. Love you guys. So I know one question I'm gonna get a lot of is, how long did you drink for, and how much? Um, about two years. I don't know. Three, the fourth and third year, it's kind of not frequently. Past two years, every day, and um, it could be a bottle of Jack a day plus like a four loco. It could be like two packs of strawberries. Um, but let me tell you what I had for the past three days that made me check in and do all this stuff. So I started with four Four Locos. Four Four Locos. And then we went to a bottle of Jaeger. After that, we had strawberries. Then we had two more watermelon four, four locos, two more grape four locos, a blue raz four loco, two Mike's hard lemonades, um, and then we had another a hard seltzer. And then that was it, but that was just for three days. But when we left, you sh I should have taken a picture of the bags. It was like bags on bags on bags. All right, this is me checking in. It's about eight o'clock, and I'm dying. I can't stop sweating, and it's like 80 degrees in here. So it's now like 70, 76, 77, it should be going down, but I can't stop sweating. Um, it's been going really well, though. The whole process has been going well. <sighs> All right, everyone, so <clears throat> I'm really tired. I got really high on the sweet pills, and I thought I'd give everybody a glimpse of what it is actually like. So this is almost the, um, almost entering day three territory, so that's really exciting. I'm freezing. 
Obviously, I'm not going to include the whole thing, just the crazy part. So here we go. There goes nothing. Hopefully I don't go too crazy. This is the best angle I could get. Without my camera. My camera's in my car. And I'm not allowed to go in there. Okay. There goes nothing. This one was really bad, and it gets worse the closer I get to sleep. So you don't want to take too many vitamins, um, but these right here, these have basically all of the essentials that you need. I don't know, just know that they're called Equipments Daily. Vitamin A, C, D, E, B6, B12, and Biotin. The only reason I'm, I got another one today, Matrimate Made C Complex, is because this needs thiamine. And that, if since you're drunk, since you're so dizzy for so long, essentially, um, there's a chance you end up staying like that. And you need thiamine because a lot of us are thiamine deficient. So, there it is. There's just a short expert. I was about to go to bed without saying anything, but I just wanted to show you guys that on stream. So. See for day three. Sweet dreams, even. So I just got up like two minutes ago. Day two. What a difference already. Um, last night was pretty scary. Um, I went to bed at nine. When I showed you guys a video, didn't sleep until twelve. There was a lot of them like that. But, um, once it hit 12, I slept until, like, nine hours, which is the first time I've slept nine hours in over a month. So, that was good. We're going we're gonna to go out on the street today and talk, so I'll update eventually. Crackhead Andy. Day three. It's kind of a little easier, although I threw up once. Um, my vision is still really blurry. But uh, other than that, yeah, I promise to give an update. I will give a major update. Um, I'm going to go shower and get ready and we'll see what happens. So what's good, everybody? I got my little tripod stand and this is day three of the journey. It's about 3 p.m. <clears throat> Forgive me, but this is taking a lot, so... How did it get to this point? A lot of you guys are probably wondering, like, what happened? Like, how did you get to this point? And I know now you can probably start to realize that I'm feeling a bit more myself. I'm feeling, like, a lot better. Um, I'm still really dizzy, but the sickness has gone away. The other symptoms have gone away, for the most part. I know twitching will be back tonight, you know. I know that stuff will come back. Um, how did it get to this point? It was just fun. In my life, I've always just wanted to have a good time. And that sounds really bad and, um, and everything, but it was true. And I was like, you know what, well, I mean, it's fun. It's not affecting me. At the time, I was doing really well when it really started happening. I was getting partner to quarter, straight A's, um, you know, friends, <clears throat> girlfriends. So I was like, it's not affecting me. Like, I'm functioning very well. Like, it's it's not a big deal. Then it got to the point where it was like, okay, 
now it's like every day, even if I don't want to, even if I want to do something else, I want to go out and eat, I want to go on a hike, and so let's go on a hike and let's still do it, you know? And it's like, it was a lot of driving. I am a miracle person, so I am a miracle person for the sole reason of I have driven home so many times, and this is so stupid, this isn't a humble brag or anything, but it's like, I was like this. I couldn't open my eyes, and I made it home far, miles, you know? And that's scary, that's scary. I'm so lucky, man, like, I'm so lucky. And this is why I've never been able to accomplish anything. I realize that, like, the fitness journey with Robert couldn't accomplish that because how am I gonna drink protein shakes when after those protein shakes, I need to pour shots of vodka or want to pour shots of vodka. I didn't drink vodka, but whiskey. So how am I gonna chase 3,500 calories with whiskey? It's just not going to happen, you know what I mean? How am I going to post videos every day if I want to drink all the time and I'm so hungover and then I have to drink again right away? It's not going to happen. I'm so surprised I haven't lost my job or my car or anything else. I've lost a lot, but I'm surprised I haven't lost those things. I'm really proud of myself, though, because this is something I had said I wasn't going to do for a long time, maybe for like another year or so. I'll do it next year. 2021 will be my year. I'm glad I did it now, and uh, that's pretty motivating, and that just proves, like, you can stop at any time. You just need, like, a little help, a little support, because we all need help. We all needed help. For me, it was that guy, Alfonso on the street, who just said, hey, man, you're a man. Don't be afraid. Admit it. I was a man. I admitted it. Here we go. Day four. Tomorrow. I'm going to feel pretty normal again. Now, I know for a lot of people, it can take, like, up to ten days two weeks, five days for me. It's not over yet for me, but I'm feeling so much better. So thanks everybody for watching the journey so far. The reason I'm uploading this is just because I wanted to help people in the same situation, you know, and see what it's like, maybe walk through it with me. So thanks everybody for watching. See you in the next part. Almost the end of, um, <clears throat> of day three. I wanted to go to the store to get some pistachios because they help a lot, but I forgot my mask, but I shaved. Oh, I noticed I'm starting to look a lot better now. Look, I'm, not, I'm starting to look a lot more healthy and a lot less sick, so that's a very positive thing. But the time is about seven-ish, and i um, so happy to get on to day four. Ayo, let's get it. So I just had a really bad experience, and um, I really want to have a shot. I want to go to the store right now and get a drink, which evidently it's clearly not out of my system yet. <sighs> Yikes, this is day three, night of day three. I haven't taken any pills. I'm going to try not to because you can get just as addicted on pills as you can from, from alcohol. So we'll update you guys later tonight. <clears throat> I'm going to go outside and have another little commentary session later too. Um, and we'll see what happens. So I'm still on quarantine from COVID, getting paid for it, still working at Starbucks, still going to school. So maybe that's the plan of attack. Don't know, we'll update. Hey everybody, this is day three at 11.07 uh, p.m. Checking in. Um, no more super twitches. I'm laying down now and um, I think it was earlier today or maybe possibly yesterday, I was like twitching a lot and I couldn't sleep. Not anymore. That is, um, it's calmed down now. Maybe it'll be back, maybe not. I've been taking a lot of vitamins, drinking a lot of water, flushing the system out, and um, it feels good. So tomorrow is day four. Depending on how I feel tomorrow, that might be the end of the journey and I'll upload it because it might not have taken me longer than I thought, you know? So I feel pretty good. Physical urges, of course, are still there, but... Or psychological, actually. But um, for now, I'm good. I'm good for now. The difference in my health, by the way, is inc incredible. Like, I look so much different. The first day and second day, I looked like ish. So, we'll see. But for now, I'm going to get some uh, some sleep. I'm pretty tired, especially from all, like, my body's been through the past week. So, um, update you guys for day four. We did this. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. So, this is day four. We finally made it. <laughs> I'm gonna wake up, get showered, give a status update, go have some breakfast and see what's going on and see how I feel from there. Oh no.
Day ruined. Day four, about five o'clock now. We're nearing the end of the cycle. It's really winding down. I'm starting to feel incredibly normal. Um, basically, everything's back to normal. My appetite's back, all that stuff. So I'm feeling really good. And guys, I just locked myself down. I locked myself down. I took the pills they prescribed me. I played League of Legends until I basically couldn't anymore. Then I would get so tired and I would take one more and just pass out. And I just tried to sleep through it as much as possible. I did cheat. I used Ativan, but I couldn't do it alone. So once I feel good by the end of tonight, I'm going to dump the rest of the pills because who needs another problem? And that'll be it. That's the end of the story. So I'll see you guys tonight. What is up, guys? So we're not out of the woods quite yet. Remember earlier how I talked all that mess of, oh, we're fine, we're good, we're totally okay? I was laying down. By the way. And I was just laying at my bed. And I heard, uh, by the way, I got like super dizzy and like super confused. And I threw up. Again. And um, I just heard a loud boom, 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 boom. It, it wasn't real. And then my dogs didn't bark. I went outside, I looked around, it was just fake. Um, it didn't happen at my window, it was a hallucination. So on the eve of day five, I'm feeling really bad. Um, they're back and they're back pretty hard. So um, that was really scary. That was one of the scariest moments I've had in like a long time. Like that was, that was intense. <sighs> okay, also one more thing. I did have a monster energy drink tonight. And I was just reading that caffeine is really bad for withdrawal, as well as sugar, like alcohol and caffeine. Stay away from, um, people are probably like, duh, dude, what do you mean? But, oops, lights went out, but yeah, stay away. Holy shit, I thought I heard somebody outside my window, and now I'm hearing sirens nonstop. I know it's not real. It can't be real. There can't be sirens outside my window for an hour. Like going back and forth. Like maybe if they were stationary, but they're moving up and down. There's no way. I asked somebody. They didn't hear it either. I took three out of van. I'm getting kind of kind of sad now. Day five begins now. Yo, damn it! Good morning, everybody. So, I know this was a strange video. A lot of people probably didn't expect this, but then again, probably a few that did. Now, this video probably isn't for you. This video probably isn't for the average person sitting here watching, um, which is my audience. But I, I needed this video to, to hit somebody else, to hit a different market. Because when I was going through this, there wasn't the biggest market for this, and I wanted to watch similar stories, and I thought that it would help me through the process. And I couldn't really find that many. So I decided to create this video in the hope that, number one, it would help me just getting it out there, and number two, the fact that you can do this by yourself. It's not impossible. It's very dangerous, yes, and the worst nights of my life I've had through this. Um, I, just one of the nights I didn't film, I stayed up from, this is with no pills, by the way, it was from day, t it was from 6 p.m., like shaking like crazy, tremoring, like having to grab things in order to avoid falling over until 8 a.m. to where my my body finally gave in and just passed out. Um, but that is all the footage I had. It's everything. Um, so after this, let's get back to some regular content. I made a promise to somebody that I would upload this video first. And it's taken me a while, but now you know. So thank you, everybody. Hope it helped. Peace! Dumbbuckers.